your last one. And I have to say, I am always happy when I finally get to your guys's. It's time for your mid to May readings of this current year. Yay. So let's see what's going on with y'all. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you, no worries. But if it does, cool beans. It's going to be a Thunderdome. So there's going to be two people. Player one, player two, group one, group two. Whatever you want to say. Whoever you're dealing with and how they're dealing with you. Right? Right. Mm. Sexiness abound me. <laughs> okay. So, group one, we have Knight of Cups. Could be Pisces. Also, Cancer or Scorpio. Oh my god, I almost like killed my foot. Um, this was we got right there. Wants and Wishes, Ten of Wands. Fears and Rejections is the star, possibly Aquarius in this mix. Uh, the situation is the Four of Cups. Going against you is challenges and obstacles. That's card, Scorpio. Um, yeah, in the obstacle and challenge. I don't know what the hell I was saying. Yeah, the death card is right here in the obstacles and challenges going against you. And then we have the sun right here is the beginning as well as the ending of all of this. With the beginning theme being the emperor reversed. Could be dealing with an Aries, but there's definitely somebody out of control or has no control at all. So, group one, let's see. Okay. Um, Knight of Cups right here. Could be Pisces, of course. Also, it's Cancer or Scorpio. This is somebody who is not offering their cup of love out because they are mentally tormented to the point where they can't sleep. The Deep Nine of Swords reversed. Down below is the situation with the Four of Cups where someone just actually just knocked their cup over and rather than like wait for something to happen for them all over there just like oh it's too late for this so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down yeah that was kind of like negative thinking or just negative aspects on the magician reverse bad manifestations of sort right yeah yeah sneaking this right ten of wands right here someone feels a little burdened actually someone does feel burdened they want the burden to end Because they're feeling left out in the cold. So many people have gotten this as of late. And I don't know why. I think everyone's going through this thing where, like, they're all feeling abandoned and shit. I don't know why everyone feels abandoned. But you are. And it feels like a liability with legs that follows you around. The dinging bell. Just bogging the shit out of you, right? But down below in the challenges is, like, someone is changing their ways from the old to the new. When it comes to a heartbreaking situation with the Three of Swords, it could be third party that led to a breakup, but someone's definitely um, dealing with the throes of it, like it just happened or something, right? Hence the burden and feeling left abandoned and left alone in the cold. Then we have the fears as well as the rejection. The star could be Aquarius. Someone uh, wants to communicate, or there's a fear of communicating with somebody. <laughs> Possibly this emperor person who's all in the reverse. Or your free communication will lead to being under control of somebody else as well. And then we have the sun down here, which is sometimes Leo, but there's two people having fun, being happy, having their just butt cheeks sticking out and such. Oh. Scorpio. That's card once again. Happiness lies with a Scorpio? Or is that shit gonna, gonna die? That happiness between two people is, is finally coming to an end. That's why you got the heartbreak right here. <laughs> yeah. With the ending theme being no communication. You're afraid to communicate with this emperor dude. Holy shit. Both of them came out together and in literally the exact same positions. Only both of them are now reversed. Um, you're afraid of communicating with this emperor. Possibly Aries or whoever else you feel is like the dominant person in control of group one. That is fucked up. Yeah, you feel like someone was being very manipulative, lying. Could be this emperor person who you're afraid of. Of talking to. 
you feel like they weren't fair, that they were demanding, that they expected so much of you, and yet weren't giving enough back. Just being that demanding queen of wands. Like, I want it, and I want it now. Like, this person was possibly even lying in an attempt to get you to um, give them what they want, whether or not it was justified or not. And the second card... Yeah, that's like enabling behaviors. After a period of time, you might be looking at this and realizing maybe this wasn't the best for me. All I did was invest in stuff that came back to hurt me. Last card. Yeah, like, and you definitely don't want to, uh, you don't want to come out and say something for sure. And you're trying to put all this behind you and not worry about it. Or this stuff might come out in a dramatic way with the High Priestess Reverse. But you're trying to be very grounded in what it is you're doing. Group 1. Hmm. It's weird how you're, you definitely don't want to talk to this person. Like there's arrogance, there's not wanting to come together for whatever. When it comes to this emperor, like, they're completely reversed on the side, and in your fear, it's like you want to communicate, but it's... You know that, like, that's not going to do you any good, because it's like they're not going to listen. Let's go to group two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Group two. Let's see what's going on with you. for you group two let's see and you are a three of cups reverse heartbreaking situation third party possibly led to a breakup what you're wishing for page of cups pisces cancer scorpio possibly and we have the high priestess in your fears and rejections right the situation is eight of wands reverse Fear your obstacles and challenges that are going against you is the Hermit Reverse, possibly Virgo. And the Magician, possibly Aries, right? Someone manipulated things for negative cognitations. Might have backfired. You know, the Magician's supposed to be the person who's able to make things happen. And it's like, yeah, they didn't make it happen the way they thought it would. Even with people watching them. The beginning theme is the home is kind of funky. When I say funky, I mean fucked up. Uh, like... On the surface, everything looks cool, but it's behind that door where things really start erupting and it's starting to come out more than what you want to. Like, there's definitely secrets back here with the fears and rejection, right? So, Three of Cups. There might have been a third party situation. That led to a breakup, and now you feel like you have to walk away with that. Even, or away from that, not with it. Ugh. But yeah, definitely feel like, like your cups are still filled, but there's no hope in this situation. And down below with this eight of wands, reverse. Someone doesn't know if they should take action or not because they haven't gotten the message yet. And they're keeping their guard up regardless. With the nine of wands, upright. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Could be you guys. Doesn't have to be. Offering your cup of love, but there's still some strength behind it that you're holding something back in your wants and wishes. You want to give your cup out, but you're holding on 
restricting yourself for good reason, trying to keep your strength in check. Like, you want to go in there hard, you just know better than not to. Uh, what's that saying? You can easier gather a, a bunch of flies with honey or some shit like that. I don't know. It's easier to act like honey and attract flies that way than it is to be aggressive about it. And I think that's what you're kind of doing about that. But then you got the Hermit Reverse down here, which is like you're kind of isolating yourself. Either from things that have happened to you or things that have been done. Yeah, and everything's like moving swiftly around you. It's like kind of being stuck in grief. Like the world turns and you're just still stuck in place. That kind of thing. And then we have the High Priestess. In the fears and rejection. Like someone rather like stay hidden than move forward. Like them hiding away is going to make everything go or some shit. I don't know. But we have the high priestess here. She's got secrets. And those secrets are something to fear because they're from the past. Like, fears or rejections are secrets about the past right here. Something that happened back in the day. And then we have the Magician Reverse down in the Catalyst as well as the final result. Where no matter what this person tried to manipulate negatively, nothing started. Nothing began. Like, if there was supposed to be a booty call, that definitely didn't happen. If someone thought that they could, like, cause something... Like, okay, like the magician, he's able to manipulate things, but when he's reversed, it's like he's trying to be a mad scientist. Like, he didn't take the time to know how to put the stuff together in order to make it, and now there's like a wombat-looking thing with like two heads, and it sings ukulele. Or, not, or plays ukulele, but it yodels, too. And it's really annoying, right? And it's just like that's a, a fucked experiment. He was supposed to be making, like, a bat pig or a pig that flies. And instead, he's got, like, some creature that, not, that he wasn't even thinking of creating. Has no control over. That, like, that's the main thing. He doesn't have any control. And that's why this new start isn't beginning. But, you know, not saying anything about that. Ending theme is ah yeah uh, group two someone might have done this to themselves and that's why their home's in chaos just putting that out there you know kind of stabbing yourself in the back with self sabotage e that sucks and what are the three advice cards for you? Oh, there they are. Cool. Or more than that. Let's see. We'll do you, you, and you. Yeah, you might want to travel because nothing is working the way you thought of it. Like, is, did somebody have, did someone snitch on somebody having an affair at work? You know, someone like caught somebody with their headstand and was like, I'm telling. You know? <sighs> yeah, you're waiting for a message, but you're willing to walk away in order to be happy again. Possibly, Leo. You want out of a horrible relationship in all of this. And you're coming to some realization about somebody's sneaky behavior trying to get away with some shit. So, yeah. Or this is you, group two. One of the two. But yeah, kind of did it yourself. Sorry to hear that. Um, hopefully things will get better for you. But that is the reading for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email's down in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.